Hey guys, welcome back. I will be reacting to Leopold the Brave, um, Frictional Fight Clubs, Aang vs. Poe, like I did in the other video, with Steve vs. Roblox Noob. I will stop before the fight and see what happens. But without further ado, let's begin right now. Which I don't know, which I don't know too much about both characters. I know Poe is the Dragon Warrior, and I and I know Aang is the Master Airbender or something. Which I'm not sure. Like I said earlier, I will stop before the fight and see who is more powerful. Which I have watched all of the other videos, which I'm just pissed off that um. I'm so pissed off that Danny didn't win the first fight. Which I'm not going to spoil that fight. I will tell you in the link in the Destiny description. Be a mysterious thing. Some will follow it, while others will stray from that path and write their own story. These two seem to find a sweet spot right in the middle of those two options. Meet Aang, the Avatar. Mm -hmm. And Poe, the Dragon Warrior. Yeah, both Which of warriors. these two legendary warriors? I mean, they're both like heroes, and they're to each. The death. This they're both each uh, warriors this that won't give up. Water, fire, air. Only one can master all four elements. Meet Aang, the Avatar. Leo, you need to work on your script. Oh, holy you just made crap! This less than thirty seconds ago. Sheesh. They he's hundred twelve years old, but, 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 but biologically he's great. twelve. However. Damn. He wasn't quite ready for that responsibility. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. You <laughs> can't exactly expect a child to get all pumped up and excited when he has to stop a fire lord from starting a war. Aang ran away and oh he was frozen in an iceberg for 100 years until he was discovered by Katara and her brother Sokka. Damn. Sokka and Katara traveled around the world with Aang so he could master all four elements and fulfill his destiny. Luckily, it seems that Aang had a bit of a head start, as he was already a master of airbending. He can create wind, use the air to fly with his glider, and even create little air spheres that he can ride on. Here, uh, that looks fine. I want one. Sure. Just ask Santa for complete control over all the elements of the Earth, so you can go to war and stop an evil Fire Lord. On second thought, oh hey look, waterbending, Aang can do that too. Just like Katara, Aang is able to manipulate water, and even free <laughs> his or thorn. It didn't take very long for him to master it, and soon he was on to earthbending. Earthbending allows the user to control stone, rock, sand, and even metal. With the help of Toph Bay Fog, <laughs> Aang was able to master it, and he even learned the seismic sense. This advanced Sensing ability lets someone detect where living creatures are by feeling the vibrations they make on the ground. Yeah, I think Aang is going to win this one. And last but certainly not least, fire bending. Fire Sorry, bending girl. Allows someone to use the Sorry, talk to my dog. To create fire. fire benders are also capable of redirecting lightning. Damn, We've son! We've through all four, and believe it or not, we're still not done because Aang here decided to go, Hey, I want to beat this guy without killing him. So he invented a new type of bending. Aang created energy bending in order to remove the Fire Lord's bending powers without taking his life. He does oh. need to restrain and hold down his opponent to do this, though. However, if an opponent is too tough to pin down right away, Aang can enter the powerful Avatar state. Entering Damn. this state allows Aang to tap into the Avatar cycle and gain all the previous knowledge and experience of the other avatars. Wow. In the avatar state, Aang once turned into a building-sized creature. To fight Damn! The Sometimes he surrounds himself in a powerful wind sphere that's strong enough to blow foes backwards. Aang used wow. the sphere to smash through tiny mountains so he could chase down and defeat the Fire Lord. And it's, wow. it's a good thing the avatar state is used as a defense mechanism because Aang certainly needs it. One of Aang's faults is his durability. Sure, this kid can take a lot of damage, but it's hard for him to stay conscious while doing so. He can be knocked out from too much fire, plus entering the Avatar state and redirecting lightning can leave him quite tired. That's why Aang specializes wow. in dodging. He's very agile and has the speed to redirect lightning like we just mentioned. And 
Just because he can't take real powerful attacks doesn't so mean he can't dish them out. Too. He was once even able to lift a small city with his earth bending. Wow. Kang has defeated several groups of Fire Nation soldiers. Oh my god, but all King of this? I don't think Poe could take it, but I'll see what he can do. Experience. I just see some of them. All this stuff sounds so cool. Ah, oh, forget the war. I'm asking Santa for avatar powers. Alright, but you better be a responsible avatar. Of course I'll be. <laughs> be a good avatar. I mean, who do you think I am? Korra? <sighs> Burn! Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me she exists. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just move on to Poe so we can stop thinking about her. Now, check this out. Oh my god. Are you just reciting the intro to the first Kung Fu Panda movie? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, come on, let me have my fun. It's a cool intro. Well, I guess that intro wasn't exactly misleading. Meet Poe, the legendary dragon warrior. Despite oh my god. <laughs> flabby body. This panda was able to become one of the most unlikely heroes in fiction. Thanks to really? Master Shifu, this Kung Fu fanboy was able to master the art and be the dragon warrior he was always destined to be. Po is a very skilled fighter who has quite a talent for improvising. Whatever the environment has to offer, Po will use it to his advantage. Wow. Oh yeah, right, right. in the first Kung Fu, Kung Fu movie protagonist have special moves, and Po is no exception. Some of these rely on his teammates. But on his own, Poe has techniques like the Feet of Fury. These super speedy kicks allow him to take down multiple foes in a flash. He learned the Golden Lotus Clap, which can blind the victim until the technique is reversed. The fluttering finger mind slip can erase short-term memories from the victim. Wow. Oh, wait, I do remember that. I do remember that. I did watch, um... I remember watching this series, um, the first movie and second of the Kung Fu Pan. Weep, even though it's my turn, <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna let you do it since you're a pal. The thundering wind hammer lets Poe throw a powerful ball of green energy. There's the Mongolian fireball, which acts like a tiny black hole. And believe it or not, none of these are even his ultimate technique. Really? That title belongs to the Wushi Finger Hold. All right, from the first come from um, Pain the movie. Hold, um, hold the foes two finger. Lift, lift his finger finger and oh my god, I remember that crap. I used to watch what I used to watch that with this my dad. I think the victim's cheese so much that it becomes too much for their physical body to handle. Wow, and it's all done with a simple flick of the pinky. Good wow, thing it requires little oh, you're right, 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 right. climbing up the stairs is a chore for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, from the second movie to haul uphill. It's useful for defending against nerve based attacks, though. Not to mention, it's a great weapon of offense too. Curse splat! And right. the size, he's quite agile. He's able to leap across entire towns in no time at all. He can even run so fast that he can light his own hands on fire. Oh, you want to talk about fast? How about we tell them what Poe did when he mastered inner peace? Inner peace is an ability right. to, to harness the flow of the universe. He can control the flow of a single raindrop to the flow of even the deadliest cannonball. Right, I forgot. He can do that. I forgot. I totally forgot about that. Which burns his hands off. Well, not burn it, but... That's right. After mastering inner peace, Poe was able to redirect cannonballs that could destroy ships. Mastering the flow of the universe wasn't enough for Poe. He later went on to master the, the energy of the universe. After suicide bombing the Wushi figure hold on himself, Poe became a spirit I will warrior see that movie, and guys. Chi. Poe's chi is so powerful that his aura alone lit up the entire spirit. It was even enough to overpower Kai who could previously hold all the chi of the masters in China and the spirit realm combined, including Master Ugwe. Dang! And once you've seen what Poe has lived through, you'd understand how his chi is so strong. He's been burnt several times, survived falling down hundreds of feet's worth of stairs, yeah. and survived multiple several story falls he survived being punched through a massive stone structure so hard that it shattered and remember those cannonballs he redirected well before 
Before he mastered inner peace, he took a point-blank direct hit from one of them. Poe certainly lives up to the title of Dragon Warrior. I mean, Let's see weird. which hero is more legendary, Aang or Poe. It's time. Oh my god, oh no! For a fight! I'm going with Poe. I know Poe more than Aang, but still, I'm going with Poe. I'm going with Poe. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, 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 I'm What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. I want to give a special thanks and shout out for Rampage Animations for doing this fight for me. He's greatly improved since the last fight he did, and he did very well for the very limited post sprites there were. So even if you don't like the animation, give him a round of applause and subscribe to his channel, and keep watching because he'll greatly We improve more and more in the future. I know it. All right, now let's get on to the fight. Yes, I'm okay, Juju. I am the Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Dang. Well, 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 what a surprise. Surprise? Pfft. Scrawny child versus fully grown bear? Who did you think would win? Alright, alright, no need to get snappy. Since you think it's so easy, why don't you start explaining how Poe won? With pleasure. Both Poe and Aang had great power and could dish out some heavy punishment, but Poe <laughs> was the only one who could take that punishment. Correct. Poe casually remained conscious when getting punched through a gigantic rock hundreds of times his size. Meanwhile, Aang gets knocked out from lightning and fire and gets sent to his hands and knees after getting hit against a mountain, and it didn't even break. Aang's airbending may be strong to lift human beings, yet that hardly compares to the weight of a fully grown panda. And while it can smash through mountains, Poe can easily take it. Remember that rock thing we literally just mentioned? Firebending wouldn't be as much use as Poe survived being burnt multiple times. Poe can easily redirect Aang's earthbending with inner peace, and the Mongolian fireball would take care of Aang's waterbending. Not to mention, Poe displays a bit of earthbending himself. When he masters Chi, he raises several rows of stone pillars. And he does this without his hands. This will help him keep Aang from pinning him down for energy bending. Even if Aang managed to energy bend Poe, it would most likely fail and Aang would lose his bending instead. Aang has only used energy bending twice on inexperienced users who can't even energy bend themselves. Meanwhile, Poe is a complete master of his own energy. I think I mastered Chi. Oh. Of course you did. Or he could even overflow Aang with so much chi that his tiny body can't take it. Plus, there's nothing stopping Poe from making Aang go blind or making Aang forget what he's doing. And if you still don't believe us, did you know that Poe is technically immortal? Yep! When he killed himself to bring Kai to the spirit realm, he was able to go right back! Wait, I can go back? Who knows? I've never tried. If Aang dies, he stays in the spirit world, and the role of the Avatar is passed on to someone else. I can hear the Avatar fans now. Aang lost a kung fui. The winner is... Poe. Who do you think you are, Panda? Who do you think I am, Peacock? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, so let's see who's next fighters are. Get ready for the next battle. I couldn't think of a good trailer idea, so instead let's build it up with a drum roll. Here we go. Here we go. Drum roll. And... Oh yeah, I've seen this. Yeah. So...
um, like, like, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And like to their sub um, God. <laughs> and please subscribe to we we upload the great for it for this all this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, homies.